What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your home for high-end gaming, whether it's PC, PS5, or handheld, we got you covered. One of the most common questions I get in response from those who follow our Windows Steam Deck tutorials is, I'm playing XYZ game and for some reason I'm getting double inputs, how do I fix it? In fact, I get this question so often that I decided to make this video specifically dealing with this issue and to show my personal SWICD setup, which if followed will almost guarantee that you never have to deal with this issue. But before we get started, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on future videos like this. Lots of great content on this channel for the Steam Deck. We cover gameplay performance as well as how-to videos to help you get the most out of your deck. Not only that, but we also provide help and support on our Discord server. So if anyone has an issue following along with any of our tutorials or just has questions, feel free to drop by our Discord so we can get you set up right. We do not provide support in the YouTube comment section. Those who have been following along with us on this channel already know about SWICD. SWICD is the software that we use to have controller support for games outside of Steam. You do not need to use SWICD for Steam games as Steam already provides built-in controller support for Steam games. SWICD is useful for games on other launchers such as Battle.net, Epic Games, Xbox Game Pass, and even for support when using PS Remote Play in Windows. Now. This video assumes that you already have SWICD downloaded and installed on your Steam Deck. If you do not have SWICD downloaded and installed, please refer to our SWICD setup video for how to download and install it and then return to this video. This is how SWICD will look by default. It is configured to launch with Windows minimized to the system tray it has a default profile set up already and lizard mode is also enabled by default. What this means is that certain buttons on the Steam Deck will also function as mouse and keyboard functions and this is usually the culprit when experiencing double inputs in game. If you have lizard mode disabled and are still having issues with double inputs, make sure that Steam is not running in the background. Having Steam open and SWICD in a game will often result in double inputs. Lizard mode refers to mouse functionality on the Steam Deck using the trackpads and buttons. What we want is to have this turned off while in game. All one has to do to disable lizard mode is check these two boxes next to where it says disable lizard mode. However, what you will notice is that if Steam isn't running in the background when these two boxes are checked, our trackpads will stop working. Now, if you want to continue to use the trackpads while also having lizard mode disabled when you go into a game, my setup will show you how to do this. All right, so now let's go over my personal setup. What I like to do is create individual game profiles in SWICD and leave the default profile as is with lizard mode enabled. The way this will work is that when not in a game, SWICD will use the default profile. When a game is launched that has a specific profile set up in SWICD, that profile will be loaded and the configuration will be changed from the default profile to the profile set up for that specific game. What this means is that you can have lizard mode enabled when on the desktop and not in a game and then have it automatically disabled when a game is launched. When the game is closed, SWICD will automatically revert back to the default profile for the desktop. It is important to know that if using this type of setup, you will not need to have Steam running in the background for trackpad support, and you will not need it for controller support while you're in a game. To set up an individual game profile, all you would need to do is go into the SWICD settings click on add profile and then search for the exe for the game in the game folder. Sometimes it can be difficult to locate the exe. The easiest way to locate it is by bringing up the task manager 
and then launching the game. Then we can look under that game in the task manager for the actual name of the exe. Once we know the name, we can find it in the game folder and add it to SWICD. Once added to SWICD, we can check the boxes to disable lizard mode in the profile for that game. Lizard mode will become disabled when the exe is launched and will become enabled when the exe is closed. And this same process can be used for all exe files, even for PS remote play. You can also use this to set up different button configurations for different games. So if you want one button configuration for Modern Warfare 2 and another button configuration for, let's say, Fortnite or whatever game, you can set up different button configurations on a per game basis. Not for PS Remote Play, but for actual games running on the Steam Deck. Another thing I like to do is use hotkeys on my Steam Deck with keyboard mappings so that I can toggle my frame rate counter, bring up the taskbar, and also have control alt delete if I have an issue exiting out of a game. To set this up, I first go to the button mappings tab and I set the buttons that I want to map to none because I don't want any conflicts between the button mappings and the keyboard mappings. Then I go over to the keyboard mappings and then I set those buttons to the keys that I want them to map to. So in this example, I'm mapping the steam button to the number nine. I'm mapping the three dot button to the left win and I'm mapping three of the back paddles, R4, R5, and L4 to control alt delete. Now let's talk about using SWICD with Xbox Game Pass. Game Pass, Game Pass, Game Pass. Why do you always have to be the difficult one? The only complication I've run into when using SWICD is when playing Xbox Game Pass games. We weren't able to create a profile for Xbox Game Pass games due to the fact that Game Pass game EXCs require special permissions and cannot be added to SWICD. I even tried adding the Game Pass launcher to SWICD so that I could create a profile for it, but couldn't because the EXE for the launcher is a hidden file. So when playing Game Pass games, you will have to use the default profile with lizard mode disabled, and you will also want to have Steam closed or else you will experience double input. So what this means is that you will need to use the touch screen to navigate the Game Pass user interface because mouse trackpad functionality will be disabled once we disable lizard mode. As I mentioned earlier, we do not need SWICD when playing a Steam game because Steam provides controller support for Steam games. In fact, if you have SWICD enabled while in Steam, this can result in double inputs in Steam. So we do not want SWICD running while in a Steam game or while using the Steam OS user interface in Windows. All we have to do to avoid double inputs in Steam is pause the SWICD driver. Once we are done in Steam, we can close Steam and resume the SWICD driver. So I think that pretty much covers everything you need to know about SWICD and Windows on the Steam Deck and how to avoid having double inputs in your games. I know a lot of you have been asking about gyro functionality. Unfortunately, I do not know how to set up gyro in SWICD. If I do find out, I will make a video about it, but I did show you how to set up and create individual profiles for games, how I use SWICD with Xbox Game Pass and how to avoid having double inputs no matter what game you're playing. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please leave a like and also subscribe so you don't miss out on future tip videos like this. And if you need assistance, feel free to drop by our Discord server. We have plenty of people there who love to help. We're out of here, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.